In this video, we'll have a look at a few of the best WordPress plugins to help you restrict access to your content or service to paid or registered members only. Before we get into the list, whilst I'm reviewing these plugins, specifically I'm looking at the ease of use, how easy it is to set up. I'm looking at the payment options in which they provide. For example, some of them can be quite limiting. Some of them only offer Stripe only, which is no good if the Stripe service doesn't cover the market in which you're targeting, right? I'm also looking at how integratable the plugin is and finally i'll also be looking to see if these plugins can help you add a subscription component onto your membership okay so with that being said let's get straight into the list so first on our list we're slightly biased it's the aov of memberships plugin and this particular plugin will help you create various different types of memberships website right so we can create membership tiers can restrict access to certain content we can create specific discounts and coupons to our members right Right. We can add a subscription component, offer upsells and cross sells and so much more. Let's quickly have a look in the back end and then we'll have a look at the next plugin on our list and then we'll move on to the next plugin on our list. So let's navigate over to the back end. We'll navigate over to AOV up and then memberships. Here we just get a quick overview of our members, right? So we can see our recent members, our total members and so on. So the first thing usually what you do is you go ahead and create your membership plan. For example, we can just click add new. We can give it a name, right? And then we can choose how we want to enroll members into this particular membership plan. So for example, we can manually enroll members or we can enroll them on registration or we can link it to a product which they need to purchase, right? Here we can create our various different restrictions. So we can restrict different post types, custom post types, different taxonomies, different different products and product categories, right? We can offer automatic discounts as well. Okay, whether that's in a product basis or a product category basis. And then we get to tailor the content in which they'll see in their members area. We can also customize the email as well. And if you're moving from a different platform, we can also import our members onto our website. And then when we navigate over to settings, we can go ahead and customize our settings, right? So we can customize the restriction mode, right? whether we want to hide the site completely, whether we want to show a bit of the site and show some excerpt or whether we want to just redirect users to a particular page when they don't have access to certain parts of our website. So we can customize all of that here. I should note as well with this plugin and a lot of the other plugins that I'll be mentioning, they usually come with an onboarding process, which we won't go through here. So usually with that onboarding wizard, it will allow you to restrict certain content types or set to create certain plans and so on. I want to go through the settings individually. Right, so we can customize the message, we can customize the email when certain actions are made. So when someone upgrades or cancels, we can automatically send out an email. When we navigate over to subscriptions, we can create various different subscription plans, right, for our members. And we can tie that particular plan to a membership level as well. Okay, so when it comes to subscription, we can offer a paid trial, right? So we can offer um, members a seven day trial to our membership for $1, right? Or we can just offer a free trial as well. So this is super huge to actually getting more people through the door to your membership program. Okay, so not only can we restrict the content from in the membership plan area, but let's say, for example, if we create a new post, okay, and we'll just add some dummy content. Okay, so we just added some content here. What we can do is we can press this add button and then we can search for membership. Okay, and we can select members content, right? And then essentially anything we add within this area will only be visible to our members, right? And on the sidebar, I'll click on this option here. We can choose the plan who should have access to this particular area. We can also drip content as well to our members so we can give them immediate access or we can give them access after a specific time period or even after a specific date as well. We can customize the restriction message so we can add no message, the default or even a custom message as well. Right? If we just wanted to quickly restrict the entire page, we can do so here as well. So we have to ignore some of these settings because I've got quite a few different membership plugins active at the same time but just for reference this section belongs to the AOV membership plugin right 
So that's just a quick overview of the AOV Up membership plugin. It has deep integration with WooCommerce. So you'll get all the benefit that WooCommerce comes with. So with WooCommerce, you'll get access to numerous different payment providers, which will work perfectly with your memberships. When it comes to email marketing, there's numerous different um, integrations with WooCommerce. So Active Campaign, MailPoet, and so much more. So you open a door up to this huge ecosystem of plugins so this is great when it comes to integrations right built.com i'll leave all the plugin that i'll mention in this video in the description below they'll all be free from affiliate links so if you do purchase anything apart from our own plugin we don't get penny of any of these plugins that we've recommended right okay so the second one on our list is restrict content pro i personally like this plugin for its simplicity right it doesn't necessarily have the most features per se but when it comes to just quickly getting up and running i like um, restrict content pro right so we can set up paywalls we can add um, discounts and coupons again you can add discounts and coupons in the aov memberships plugin as well which i didn't mention okay so let's quickly head over to our dashboard and have a look at restrict content pro so let's navigate over to restrict okay so from here we can see all our members right currently i've got zero members so there's nothing to be displayed here we can create our membership levels right we can go ahead add a name access type one or two we can choose to offer a sign up fee you can add a redirection url after someone successfully purchased this particular membership plan when we go to payments we can see all the recent payments we can create our coupon code and so on right but as i said on a product page or on a post page you can also restrict content from there using this particular plugin so another thing that i like about um, restrict content pro is their add-on section so they've got a handful of add-ons which is super useful right so there's a woocommerce integration here which is really good we've got some body press integration the ability to drip content as well so that's super useful now let's move on to plugin on our list which is paid membership pro i like this plugin right it does everything you'd probably want it to do and um, the user flow as well i think is intuitive enough and i think one of the key selling points of this plugin is the number of integration it has right you might not need most of them but the fact that it has it i don't know it might come in handy in future right so let's have a quick look at the back end of paid memberships pro okay so this is a dashboard that you greeted with right here we can see an overview we can see the amount of members that we've got um, in the past day this month year all time and so on we can see their activities which is super useful and in here we've just got a prompt to help us get set up and started right essentially we can view our members Again, there's no members here. We can export them as well. I'm not too sure if we can import them. I'm assuming there is a way to import them. We can view orders. We can go ahead and have a look at those um, stats that we saw on the dashboard. And then on the settings page, we can just go ahead and configure it further, right? So we can create our membership plan. We can choose whether it's free, monthly, one time, whether an approval is needed or whether it's a gift membership again we need to add on for those um, options as i said it's intuitive enough right it does what you want there's just a lot going on on the page but i guess with a lot of these plugins as well um, especially the ones that's been around for like a decade like this particular plugin i believe yeah sometimes it just gets a bit dated but again there's nothing wrong with it it does everything you want it to do when we go to add-ons as i said there's numerous amount of add-ons here um, membership card is one of my favorites right so i think it's quite cool that you can um, enroll members and then you've got the option here as well to actually print off a physical membership card for example if you're running a yoga studio you can create a membership card for your members right so that's super useful okay so when it comes to payment methods it's quite similar to restrict content pro right so you get access to stripe and paypal and also Braintree, Authorize.net, Paystack, right? And Payfast, which is really good. Okay, so the fourth on our list is MemberPress. What I like about this plugin is the fact that it has an add-on for you to basically add a course to your membership. All the other plugins that I've mentioned, you can add a course component to your membership site, but it just needs um, a third party plugin integration, right? Whereas these guys have created their own, so that's really good. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the back end of MemberPress. 
Okay, so we can create our membership. All right, we can choose the membership level and choose. All right, we get to choose our content restriction options. So again, we can choose based on the membership level, the access level, the user role, right? And here we can further configure our membership. Again, what's really cool about this particular plugin is the fact that it actually um, has a built-in pricing box, right? So here we can customize the pricing box and we can see the preview here, which is really handy. Okay, and then once we're happy with everything, we can just hit publish, right? So we wanna price it accordingly as well. Okay, when we go to rules, we get to specify how we want to handle restricted content, right? So meaning we can customize the unauthorized message. We can show a login form and so on, right? Um, courses, like I said, it needs that um, add-on to be able to create courses. We can configure our reminders and affiliates. Again, it requires this affiliate plugin. However, we can create the subscription here, which is really good. And then from add-ons we've got a handful of add-ons here right well as i said like for example active campaign since the aov up memberships plugin integrate directly with woocommerce you'll have active campaign support if that makes sense and convert it and a lot of these other integrations like mailchimp right so i guess that's one of the key differences but for me the standout feature with member press is their course um, add-on for me personally. All right, so let's have a look at our fifth and final plugin on the list and it's Wishlist Member. Okay, again, this is a plugin that's been around for quite some time, right? But it does the job. So if we navigate over to our dashboard, we can scroll to um, Wishlist Member. And if I'm honest, this made it to the, to the bottom of the list due to just the overall user experience. It's not as intuitive as you'd think it is. For example, we go content protection and then we have a barrage of different options in which we need to configure, right? I think a lot of these steps could be reduced. So again, it requires a bit of learning curve, but I guess once you're familiar with where everything is, then maybe it's not a big deal, right? But for me, I just think it's a bit overwhelming, but it does include some cool features, right? Built-in caching management, that's really good. The ability to control um, the password strength, right? When a user's creating a membership, that could be handy, right? Let me know in the description, which plugin was your favorite and why?